I'm going to show you how to create your own brush. Um, it's fairly easy. If you go and find something that you really, really enjoy, some kind of texture or um, object or whatever, um, you can actually create a brush out of it. Here is one of my new favorite websites. It's called cgtextures.com and there it's free. You do have to put in your um, email address and your name and all that good stuff. Um, but after you verify your email address, then um, it will allow you to go in and um, get these textures. The cool thing about this website is if you type in the word mask right here, it'll show you some images that already have their background taken out of them. And that's, I think, really cool because that's a lot of work getting um, things to be masked for you already. So let me show you how to do this. It's really easy. And let's say that we want to create um, smoke kind of to give a dreamlike effect to our project. Um, go to channels and channels are just like the RGB colors of the the image, not the black because we want to we don't want to select the black. So go down to this little circle thing right here and click that and then hit command copy and create a new layer and then hit command paste. I'm going to turn off this bottom one so you can see it. I'm going to hold my command key and create a layer below. I'm going to hit G for the bucket. Right here I have to hit X because it was white. Okay, now it's black. So what's happened is I've created a brush, B for brush, that is smoke. It's really cool. And I can even change the color of the smoke if I want to. Let's do green. Now I'm hitting green and then I'm having to hit X because it was at the bottom. See right here? It was over here. So here's some green. I could probably go crazy with this. That looks really dreamy. Really dreamlike. And um, maybe I want to go back to white. That looks kind of cool. Okay, I could do this all day. This is so fun. So I'm going to close this because we're done with that. Um, another thing that you can do is you can make a brush out of anything. Like if you have some image that you really like, um, something I learned is that you have to merge your layers. So I hit Command Shift E and I merged my layers right here. Um, same thing, go up to Edit, Define Brush, and I'm going to call this number two because I've already done this once. I just want to remember that this is my second one, and I'm going to say OK. And let's say that, uh, well, let's just see, you know what, I, let's do, let's do, let's do some color ones so that you can say, oops, I guess it would, oh, there we go. The reason it didn't do color is because down here I forgot to hit the X button. So the thing about a picture as a brush is that it's really, it's not really the actual colorization of the picture, it's just kind of a black and white um, part of the picture. So that's kind of cool. So you can cre create anything as a brush. Um, the next thing that I want to show you is how to create, um, this is the last thing, how to create a, a shape into a brush. So you come up to your brush, I hit B for brush, and then I clicked up here. We don't want any of our presets, we just want a plain O circle. Okay, and then I'm going to make, I'm using my bracket key to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to hit X so that it turns white. It's a little crooked. Not that it matters. Okay. And so the cool thing about this is we can do the same exact thing, just something real simple like this. If you wanted to have a brush that was for um, just circles. Um, so I'm going to just call it circles. 
Play. Okie dokie. Um, and then you can just go crazy with circles. Ha ha ha. I had it I had the white chosen, so that's why it did that. That's kinda cool. That was an accident, but that's alright. So here's the black. Okay, so let me show you something that's extra cool. Is that you can come up here to your brush presets and you can just experiment with all these different things. Um, this looks really cool when you change the scattering. Um, you can change tons of things. Like you can make it really, really um, dense with all the whatever the shape is. You can change the the jitter which I'm not really sure what that is but that's what a lot of things in Photoshop I'm not sure what they are what the words mean but I do know that what they do when you actually press them down see that scatters the images that's kinda cool actually um, you could change the texture you could make it more than one brush you could do a transfer of them make them kinda spread out and um, some of them are darker and lighter as they go off into the distance um, but it's just really, really cool. Um, and that's under your brush presets right here. So let me show you what that might look like. Let's close this little guy here so you can see. Let's just change it to a different color. Let's make it a little smaller. And let's just see. This changes the roundness. I mean, it just it's just really cool. Okay, so now I've created a brush. Let me zoom out so you can see it better. That creates little ovals. So it, there's a lot to play with in here um, and a lot to experiment with. So brushes are fun and I hope I made, I made it easy for you. The bad thing is it's addicting once you get started. You can't stop or I can't because it's so much fun. Okay.